In this video, we're going to look at the coiling method for making a clay pot. Now, the things that you're going to need for this is a large amount of air dry clay, an empty plastic cup that's quite rigid, small amount of water, a brush, you can use a spoon, and a variety of clay tools. You've got some cling film and the rolling pin. So let's begin. We're going to take some air dry clay and we're going to get a something to mold it around. In this case, I'm going to use a rigid plastic beaker. And I'm just going to cover that in cling film so the clay doesn't stick to this. And this is just a great way of getting the shape of the thing you want. So in this case, we're making a, a volcano pencil pot, okay, for year three on their volcano project. So once I've got this, what I want to do is I want to grab a bit of clay, probably about that amount, okay, so not too much. And I want, what I want to do, we're going to roll this out to about the, the thickness of a pencil. Okay, so we're just going to keep going until we're about the thickness of a, just a standard pencil. So there's a pencil, a little bit more. Now obviously the thinner you go, the thinner it will be and the, the more delicate your thing will be. So I'm going to go slightly wider. You might want to go slightly wider than a pencil to make your pot a little bit stronger. So there's my first sausage shape. And I'm, what I'm going to do now, take my cup and I'm going to wrap my coil, that's why we call it the coil method, my coil like a snake all the way around. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage because we'll smooth it out later. And you can see it's just coiled round. And we just keep doing that until we've got enough. So again, take a small amount of clay, roll it between your hands first of all to so get a sausage. And then I use my both hands to roll it out. Okay, so it's about the thickness of a pencil. And again, this time I'm going to just mould it into the stuff that's already there and again just come round the whole of the clay pot like so. Okay. This is the bit that takes time so I just keep going all the way around. Okay. And don't worry if there's a little few little gaps because when we when we come to smoothing it all out we'll get rid of all those gaps okay and what you don't want to do is make too much of too big sausage okay because it becomes very difficult to get it nice and smooth what you want to avoid is making little thin parts like this say so, so I just use my whole of my hand okay so it's all nice and even and if it gets a little bit thin like that what I do is I just do that and then re uh, roll it and so it's nice and flat again so here we go all the way around. Okay, okay, looking good so far. Okay, next bit. As you can see, what I do is I, I push that on, then I, I just smooth that into the last bit of clay that I put on, and then I just add this on. Now you can start to see there's a few cracks in this clay, which means it's it's almost going to be a little bit too dry. It's about perfect at the moment, but the key is don't let this stuff dry out too much. If it does dry out, you can add a little bit of water to it. Okay, you know, just gonna you dip your, if you, you dip your fingers in the water, go along your sausage, like so, and then just roll it out, and that will just help it not dry out. But sometimes it just helps it, just gives it a little bit more makes it a little bit easier to roll. Okay, so I'm just going to again, go all the way around. Okay, all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Okay, so once we've got to the top, what I want to do is just a small bit to finish off that top section. Okay, so I'm just going to make a small sausage. Again, not too, too thin. And I'm just going to finish that off like that. And then just take that little bit off. Okay, add that to the pile. So there is, you can see I've got the coil going on 
around the cup, okay? And the next job is going to be to smooth it all out. Okay, so once you've got it all like so, there's a couple of ways in which you can smooth it out. The first way is with the finger. So I'm gonna just take some of my water, I'm gonna dip my finger into the water just so it's a little bit wet. And I'm, what I'm gonna do now with my thumb, I can just push the clay until it becomes nice and smooth like so. Okay, you can see it's starting to come smooth. What I'm trying to do is just fill up the clay with the, fill up those cracks with, with some clay. The other thing you can do is you can take a clay tool like this and you can just up and down the sides. This is much quicker, much easier to do. Okay, and it also helps you to get it just nice and smooth. Okay, because it's nice and smooth. Not a, it's a bit harder than your thumb. So what you can do, again, if, it's, if you're finding it, you just wanna make it a little bit easier, give it a little coat of water. And you can see I'm just working in the water. It's not wet, it's not dripping off. And then using the clay tool again, I'm just gonna kind of smooth in this out. Okay. Now the other thing you can use, which is quite good to use. A spoon is really good at getting it nice and smooth, okay? But I would suggest in this case, this flat tool or a wooden stick like this dipped in water can be really good for just getting it nice and flat, okay? So, and just rub your thumb over, okay? Now the key is don't let it get too wet because it gets sticky. This is about perfect. You can see it's just damp on the outside. Okay. The last thing you want to do is get it too wet and sticky and start sticking to your hands and sticking to everything. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to smooth out the entire thing. So I'm going to just speed up the video now and we'll come back when it's all done and I'll talk about the next stage. Okay, so you can see now what I've done is I've smoothed it out, got rid of all those cracks, okay, from the coils, so that it now looks like just one large piece. And then we want to just make sure it's all nice and smooth, okay, and you've got rid of any of those those sort of coils that you can still see. So I still got a little bit of work here, okay, to do. And sometimes you just rubbing in some water on the tip of your finger can make it really nice and smooth and then don't dip your finger in until you've got work that water into the surface of the, the clay okay so I'm just going to do that all the way around so it's nice and smooth checking for any little cracks and imperfections and making sure I want that what that does is when you put that water onto the clay it creates what we call a slip which is like very it's almost like a, a very thick hot chocolate and then once you move that in it's easy to get into all the cracks and then it starts as you move it in it starts to dry out and it starts to become a little bit thicker okay and so that is my volcano shaped cone okay now if this was just a clay pot we'd just put a, a bottom on Okay, and we'll be happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to push out this cup from the bottom okay, and all of the cling film. If I didn't use cling film, this would stick to the clay. Now what you can see inside here is you can see the coils, but we're not going to worry too much about that. What you could do is you could come in and you could smoothen out the inside, but because that we're making a pencil, we're not going to worry too much about smoothing that inside out, okay, because it won't really be seen, okay? Now, so what the next thing I'm going to do is I want to um, make the bottom for my pencil pot, okay? So I'm going to take a, a lump of clay. I don't want to make this too thin, okay? So I'm going to start off with a lump, uh, probably around about 
fact size, about the size of a ping pong ball probably. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by rolling it, okay, into a ball. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rolling pin, okay, working both ways, one way, then the other. Now I can see that that's not going to be enough, so let's put some more clay in now, into it, and a bit more, and roll out, and I'm going to take a clay tool and separate that off the top, off the bottom of my work surface, because it will stick, and I'm going to roll from the other side, and that's probably an okay size, let's just check to see if that fits on, that fits on very nicely. Okay, now, um, so for a standard pot, what I'm gonna do now is I need to make sure that this part here, I'm gonna add a bit of clay in here because that's not very good. Okay. Now what's really important here is, look, if I push here, it's gonna just collapse. So I've gotta be really careful with this. Okay, otherwise the whole thing will collapse. And the best thing, way to work is just don't hold it too tightly and use your whole hand around the pot, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a bit of water and I'm going to go around the bottom edge of that pot and I'm going to just do a circle of water on my base. And I'm going to add this on and I'm going to push down lightly, right? Push down very lightly. I'm going to take a clay tool now I'm going to cut off all the excess. Don't worry about being too neat. I'll take most of the excess off. And don't worry if you've got a little bit stuck because we're going to smooth these in when we get there. Okay, now, there you can see it's got the bottom on now, but you can see is this crack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my clay tool and I'm just going to merge that bottom in the rest of the side of my coil pot. Just dip that in the water. Now there's lots of different types of clay tools you can use. Um, just use the one that you feel most comfortable with and the one that does the job better. Sometimes it's better to take a, you know, a nice flat one sometimes a, a knife shaped one okay but you get all sorts of, of tools now last thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to smooth that out with some water make sure there's no cracks and that is the bottom done I'm just going to put my initials into here so I know it's mine okay and then place it back so that is the basics of the coil method for building a clay pot. All right, so we've got the bottom on, we've got the sides all nice and smooth, and then we've got this inside, um, which has still got the coil, but you can smooth that out with a clay tool if you want to. It's a little bit difficult, okay, but because we're making a pencil pot, it should be just fine the way it is. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the whole pot, and I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and smooth, Okay, I'm going to pinch around the top to make it nice and smooth. Uh, because it's a volcano, I'm not, it's got, I'm not going to be perfect. Okay, but I'm quite happy with that. So that is the initial stage one. In the next video, I'm going to show you what you can do with this to add texture and to add some detail to it to make it more like a, a volcano for your volcano pencil pot. So I'll see you in the next video.